Hello and welcome to Alex Temp's Tabletop. Before this battle report begins, I'd just like to say that the people in this video are both abiding by the government guidelines due to the Boogaloo Rona party. As well, in the first battle round, the Nighthaunt ability to not be affected by Rend was forgotten about, um, so apologies about that and apologies if there are any other mistakes during this battle report. We're still both learning and I appreciate your patience while watching. So without further ado, I hope you enjoy and take care. You look like a news presenter. Hello and welcome to the Tear Cousins. What's the news? We're gonna do a battle report. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> do you wanna read your list? For my 500 points of um, knife on today, I'm taking Lady Olinda and her spell is a spirit dream. I'm taking a Lord Executioner and his artifact is the Headman's Judgment. I have two units of Teen Rasp Cords and I have a unit of four Gleath Wraith Stalkers. And that's it, isn't it? So today I'm taking Gloom Spike Gits. I'm taking 460 points. My general is a Loom Boss. Um, he has, his um, ability is tough and leathery, so it gives him two extra wounds bumping up from five to seven. And he also has an artifact, which is Talisman, which gives him minus one to hit wounds against him. I have two units of Squig Herds. I have a Ale Guzzler Gargargent, and I also have a Cave Sherman. And his special spell is that he can make Squigs um, still run and charge. And that is my army list. I hope it is anyway. We'll find out if it's not later. So no fancy graphic. Today's battle is First Blood. It's one of the basic AOS games where essentially you have to kill each other. Till the fifth battle round, the person with the most points remaining is the winner. We are planning in the future, FYI, to do more objective-based games. We are just still trying to figure out the game, so we thought we'd stick to what we did last time, try and familiarise ourselves with it. So, let's get into the game now, in a bit. Hello guys, um, so I was um, able to deploy all my units first, and... I'm gonna... Do I let Sarah go? No, I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna play stupid and play a lot like how Destruction play. Um, with my Gloom Spike ability, we have the Bad Moon, so I've got a roll to see if it comes in first. So I need more than one and I get to pick a corner. So I got two. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have it start off... I don't know if you can see it on camera. I'm gonna have it start off in this end corner of the Scar Gaudron. And then essentially it doesn't do nothing because it's just in this corner. But then come the next hero phase, it'll move here, then it'll move into the center for the next battle run. And then so, so it's going to go across the board, but I'm going to have to keep rolling to see if it keeps doing that. So now I'm going to do my hero phase. So it's the command phase now. I sounded like that last time I said the command phase, and the yeah. last video I was like, it's the command phase. It's the command phase, I can't really do a lot. Um, he is my general. I'm just gonna cast Inspiring Presence on them, so it means they don't have to take a Battle Shock test if they're like, take a bunch of wounds. Because I feel like they're gonna die very quickly. And now we're gonna go to my magic phase, so in a bit. So it's the magic phase. I'm going to do Squig Law, I'm going to need 5 up, it means then that this unit can run and still charge. I could do to D3 units, but me being a silly boy, I didn't deploy him close to all of them because I could do up to D3 units, so I could have done it on them and then. But oh well, you live and learn, so I'm going to see if I can get at least a 5. Yeah, we've got that. Sarah would deny, but she's actually not in range, she's just out. So that goes off on them. So now what we're going to do is the movement phase. Five. Are we going to charge them, run and charge? He could run and charge. I'm just going to put him, um, actually I'll move it. I'm going to, I'm going to charge then. So um, five, so that means they get to move 10. So do I want to move them? But I feel like they're just going to, he won't be able to move. Actually, I'm going to move him across. 
So they're just going to kind of go there. But they can attack, but then they weren't going to be able to anyway, so I'm not fussed. And then him, he's just going to do what they do. He's just going to hide there. And then he, he's just going to kind of go there. They can still move and charge, but they can't because I ran. Okay. But yeah, that's the thing. Big move. <laughs> they move six. Um, he was like there, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. All alive. No, he was there, wasn't he? All alive. Um, they're not even going to be in 12 to charge. I know. Alright, this one though, he's just going suicidal. Mm. Yes. So it's the charge phase. Um, in the movement, I ran and I only rolled a one, so they moved six. They ran ten, but they can't charge. They can't do nothing, he can't do nothing. So hopefully the giant can at least bring some drunken pain. I don't want to get doubles because then it knocks off his ability called drunken stagger, which just messes things up. Um, I don't know. I'm out of range with the lady, unfortunately. I feel like this giant's going to die quickly, but I just want to have some fun with him because I built him. So how much do I need to get in with those? Is it like... Half an inch, isn't it? Can't... Yeah, I know that, but how much do we say? So All we... right. <laughs> like 11? I don't know actually, how did you, because, like that, put it there. I don't have, so I kind of want, is it 12? That's 12 inches from But if I got ones. 11, I'm just checking, would I be out then? Uh, maybe, maybe. We're going to roll, I don't think I'm going to make it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, we don't want doubles. You're recording this week? Mm hmm. Using different dice as well today just because shake it up. Yeah. Um, yeah, he wouldn't even get in anyway with um, seven, which is a shame. Yeah, he's not even in, so he just stays there. Oh, wait, they, they still move seven, don't they? No, they don't. When they charge and if they fail, they just stay there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah um, so I'm kind of regretting going first. But it is what it is, it'd be now Sarah's turn. And it'd be Sarah's command and movement phase in a bit. So, so far, yeah. And after Sarah's turn, then the bad moon will then move to here and hopefully give us some abilities. Hello, Hokey. Yes. Hocus is just nicely watching. And Sarah's just preparing. Night haunt. Okay, before we do the spells for the night haunt, I'm aware that the squig herder has an ability to re-roll fails saved and char um, um, charge rolls. I forgot. It doesn't matter now. We're not going to go back and do that. I just thought I'd mention it before anyone starts reing in the comments. Um, I'm sorry, Hocus. Yeah, see, she don't care. So you guys just just get on. Just get over it. So we're going to do some spells now, you little witch. What are we doing? Ooh. Um, so I'm going to cast an arcane bolt first of all. Yeah. From Lady Olander. Yeah. Into your squid card there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to need a five to cast. Yeah. That's gone off. I can't yes. deny it because my yes. wizard's all the way there. I don't know, actually, now. He's a bit closer. You could unbind it. Um... Um, no, I won't unbind that one. Alright. Um, Is it just one mortal wound? So, that unit suffers one mortal wound. If the casting roll was ten or more, it was not nine. So we have one mortal wound to your unit. Um, just pass me um, a green dice. Because the squig herds, they all have one wound, two wounds. So I will just put a wound marker on that end one. Mm -hmm. And what's your next spell? And then... Because Lady Orlanda being the Mortak of Grief, she can use two spells. Mm -hmm. Sorry yeah. for interrupting. <laughs> We're going to use her spell. Oh, Sarah's flicking through the pages. Let me remind myself. 
myself on that one. So I need to roll the number of dice that your eel guzzler has wounds. He has 12, he has wounds. 12 wounds. So four. Without Six. jumping ahead, dear. I'll tell you in a minute. <sighs> this is going to be like last time with the mansplaining. Yeah. You need to roll to see if you can even cast a spell first before you do yeah. that. You got a roll of four. I'm going to add some awkward elevator music in here. You got a roll of four first to see if it goes off. So roll two dice. Great, I've got to edit that now. It goes off, but still, that's not the point. Okay, so you're picking him. I can try and deny it. Um, so do you want to, I've got to be how much in range is it? So do you want to quickly take this? So unlike the last time guys, if you're thinking this is a bit more rushed, as I spent 15 to 20 hours editing, we're trying to speed things up for my sake because all I want to do when I'm on holiday off work is not edit YouTube videos for the entire week. Right. He's in range, so I'm going to try and deny that with my wizard. What did you roll? You had a six. Six and a three. Six and a three. Maths, um, seven, eight, nine. So I need to roll above nine yeah. to deny that. I doubt that will happen. So Have you got this you on roll. camera? Yeah. That's not very nice. Six, seven, eight, nine. You yeah. got a... But I yeah, it? but it doesn't go off because remember last time I still don't deny it. So uh -huh. that go, yeah, right. that was so close. That was close. So see my point. <sighs> I feel like every time we take the camera off each other, I feel like those annoying vloggers who go, <laughs> um, what was it called? Parkour, and they keep passing oh, the. Nice. They're like, oh, parkour, <laughs> parkour. All right, so you got to do your spell now. So for each six plus, you're going to get a mortal wound. Okay. Just one? Oh, yeah, just one better looks, isn't it? Oh, that's a shame. Um, so I know some people count down. Um, we're count down as well, just... Well, as long as you know what it means. No, do you know what? I'd rather just be like that. So he's got one wound. We'll put it there. He's a nice model. Um, he's not painted, sadly. Um, unlike the last game, though, Look, a painted unit. I actually was able to paint the unit while painting Sarah's lovely lady. What did feature it on Warhammer TV, I know. <laughs> and then he's really nice. So it'd be your movement phase now. So we'll go to that. How did you feel about that rolling? How did, I thought you were going to do way more mortal wounds. Oh, five years and we still don't like talking about feelings. Oh my god. So it's the charge phase for the night horn. I'm not that excited because I really regret taking the first turn because everything just looks like it's going to come and hurt me now. So everything moved up six inches. Mm -hmm. I've essentially just bought myself in for some pain. Yeah. Welcome so, to Pain as, Town. As long as I'm within 12 inches, can I charge you? Yeah, you yeah. have to. You still have to roll to see if you fail your oh, charge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. So where are we starting off first? Um, boop, boop, we'll boop, boop, start boop. up here. Who are they charging? They are going to charge your squid card. Are they within there. 12? Yes. Yeah, oh, you checked. checked. Okay. Checked. That doesn't go off. Not bad. Is your Lord Executioner in? Oh, yeah, yeah. If they ever and everyone else is Okay, in. go for it. Keep rolling if you want. I'll just check, but yeah. He's in. There, yeah. Okay. Oh, she's going to just try and kill my one painted unit. Mm -hmm. So that's a 11. Does that work? Get the tape measure and check. Yeah, I'm well yeah, within. Just go within there then. And then I'm in combat, and then these guys. Do you want to split and go into them? 
Yeah. If you can hear smashing, the recycling's being done outside. That was a four. Five. Okay, that's a nine. Nine. See if you're in. Oof. Bit out. We're tight, but is that an inch? No. Well, do, do you want to? So where do you want to do it? So where's nine? And then if I put my finger there, do you want to then put it down to half an inch? Because it doesn't have to be an inch in or half an inch. It's an inch. Oh, do you know what? Send them in. This is what the people want. As long as you're all right with it, Alex, you know. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm complaining to the or, uh, event organizer, which is myself. <laughs> Sarah, you're disqualified um, as the event organizer. Corruption. Now this, I'm excited, but not excited. Video lender, where are we going? So that's another nine. She's definitely in. She is. Ooh. You just moved him. You just, that's all right. Just coming for you anyway. You could make it go to the side, yeah, so then you could so try. Have room for the other ones. Yeah, because I think you can pile in, can't you? So they yeah. can still. Oh, nice. Um, that's an eight. See if they're in. You're doing Ooh. it. You're doing it with a nine, though. I don't know. I was going from eight, though. I was going from eight. All right, put them in. What the frick? What the frick? <laughs> just bend them round. It's okay. I don't care. I'll just be anal and be like, they can't all get into hit. All right, so it'd be um, combat phase now for Nighthorn. Um, thanks, I'm not excited for this. Like, this could be a really short game, um, which is good for me editing-wise. And also, yeah, so in a bit. So typical, I've built this model, I've primed it, and it's probably going to die now because Sarah's not a very nice person. So this just in, Sarah's not nice. So what are you doing? What's so, your attack? Let's start with Lady Olinder, and she's going to hit you with her staff. Yeah. I've got three hits, three to wound, three to... No, three attacks, three to hit, three to wound. That's the, D three wounds. That's the way we say it. And it's Ren too, so the fact he's got five plus, with the Ren that would make it a six plus and a seven plus. There isn't a seven plus, so I can't save this. I think that's how the rules go. I'm doing a shake. Not too sure. Oof. Get rolling. So how many attacks? Six. No, 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 it's just three hits. Okay. Three attacks for her. That doesn't count. Oh, here we go again. Here we go again. <laughs> okay. What do you oh, need to hit? They all hit. Yeah. So three threes to hit and then another three to wound. Okay. I think you failed for that first one, but okay. <laughs> Didn't fail those, did I? FML. So do you want to roll and do D3 wounds so on each? just one? No, all oh, of them. Oh, all of them. They all count, don't they? So is, is it D3? It's D3, yeah. Okay. That's a four, so a two. Yeah, two. Two hits, like two wounds. Yeah, two wounds. One. One. So that's five wounds, five wounds, putting him to six. So he's on half health, yeah. meaning half abilities. So we'll be right back with my attack. Actually, yeah, we'll be right back because I'm probably going to attack now with him. But don't I have another one for Lady Alinda? Or does that like, go into a separate? Oh, no, you're right. She has another weapon. Yeah, no, you're she right. You claws. attack, you attack. Yeah, my bad. So I've got six attacks for the claws. No, look at that cheeky. <laughs> Forced to hit and forced to work, so you know I might not do as well. Sweaty hot dog eater power gamer. So I'm getting killed by my own model I've painted. So what are they? Go forced for it. to hit and forced to wound. Okay. So. Oh, only two. So two hits. Good. But they both hit. And then. There's no red, it's just one damage. If you can hear that sound, the cat's playing with the toy. Do you like a doormat? <laughs> Doxed. So I just need five up. Yeah. Lovely jubbly. Okay, I saved one, so nice. he's on seven wounds now. I didn't even name him, and I'm not going to name him now till he's painted. Aww. So now it'll be my attack. Aww. 
in a bit. So he's basically on his knees. He's a bit annoyed because she's being a bit of a mom. So he's at half stat. So we're going to do the Ed butt first. So it's one attack. I need force to hit first. Perfect. And then I need freeze to wound. Perfect. It's um, so we got confused. Mainly I got confused. So it'd be rain free. She's got four up save, but then with the rain free, that would make it a seven save. So she can't save that. So then it's um, D3 um, mortal wounds. And then do you get to do the death save on yourself? Or is it only units around? Like a six up mortal wound? We'll find out. Yeah, we'll see how many wounds I've done. Great, I've done one, one damage. We've only taken one wound. Um, we have to check her alliance ability, but it's only on units around. I don't think a general can uh, use the death save on himself. Sorry if we're a bit shaky, guys. I, we've been busy. And when you did Stormcast another week and now you're doing another army, we're kind of shaky. So now we're going to do the Massive Club. So the Massive Club is... Um, how many attacks? Blah, blah, blah. It's 2d6. Okay, that's cool. So let's roll 2d6 attacks. Okay, seven. That's that could be worse. One, two, three, four. Oh god. Two, four, six, seven. Perfect. And then it's freeze to hit, freeze to wound, rend one, one damage. Okay. Hopefully some of this does damage, you know. Um, okay, that's not awful. Okay. Oh yeah, because she's taken... Oh, that's just there. That one's yours, yeah. And then it's freeze to wound. Nice. And then it's rend one, so it'd be five up saves five up save. on all six. So do you want me to take the camera? Because yeah. I only count all as one. That cat is mega hyper today. Where is she ever? Ooh, ooh. Oof. So four hits go on. Oh, nice. So that's her with how many that's wounds? That's her with five wounds. Okay. One plus four is five, yeah. Yes, that is math. I'll pass you back the camera. Thank you. Yeah, sorry about the sound. The cat's just being in mega hyper. Right. So we've got the mighty kick now. It's one attack. Freeze to hit, freeze to wound. Ren two, D3. So let's see if I even get this off. I need three plus. I'll move all this out the way. Awesome. Uh -oh. Woodfield. I could have, you know, I could have oh, ended no. her. I could. Then, so who are we attacking with now? I'm going to charge my dice. And I'm going to attack with my glaive. You're going to charge your dice? I'm going to charge my dice. I never thought I'd hear you say <laughs> you're going to charge your dice. Why? Is that some... <laughs> that. You read I that. Heard someone say that in a, in a games workshop once a day. Oh, don't forget to charge your dice. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm superstitious. You've become the thing you hated. I'm going to attack with my glaive sword stalkers. Yeah. Into your squigs. Yeah, just squig hard. Squig, squig hard. Okay. I get two attacks, four to hit, three to wounds. Let's go for a power shot. <sighs> You'll probably complain. Yeah, I probably will. Uh, we'll do that because I'm crouching. It's quite comfortable. Okay, let's see what happens. Actually, now I'll go back up like that. So, force to hit. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, that's nope, nope, that's nice. Nope, nope, nope. That's oh, wow, really? That was pathetic. Oh, good. Sarah's made a little sheet for herself. Okay, so is there any rend? No rend. It, One damage. Five up. Yes, no, it's six up with squigs. Squigs are six up. Well, that's one dead. Blip. Rip. You kill my terror geist. Uh, what are we doing, Alex? Um, the painted unit is going to bring me so much joy because they're painted. So hopefully they perform well. So what we're going to first do we're going to start with the squid prodder. It's the little wee mushroom on his back. So he gets two attacks, fives to hit, fives to wound, and it's just one damage against him. So let's see. 
Nothing. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Um, but now these guys get to attack. Two, four, six, eight. I get ten attacks. So that's kind of nice, at least. Um, four, five, six. Um, eight, ten. So they're fours to hit, threes to wound, rend one, one damage. So hopefully we get some fours. How are the squigs better than the squig herder? Like these are like angry little mushroom things. That <laughs> git is somehow a slightly sentient, but the <laughs> red balls are somehow better. I said they're slightly better. I needed fours. Um, well, actually, yeah, that's average, average. Um, <laughs> forced, forced to wound. Don't look at me like that. No, freeze to wound. Amazing. That's not amazing. That's not amazing. But they're amazing. Yeah. Um, they're rend one. How many? What's your characteristics on that dude? Uh, so I get five burns, so four up save. Um, so that becomes a five up save. Five up save. Do you just want to use my dice? Yeah. Or do you so... want to use your no, dice? No, no, I'll just use them. They're here. Oh, you're uh, going to do the double record yourself? Ooh. Yeah. I'm a pro. Okay. Oh my god. Look at that, everyone. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I saved them all. I can't even be angry. They were all sixes. Oh, perfect. The face of defeat. I feel like um, William Defoe in Platoon when he's running from the, um, <laughs> from the um, BC just on the foot. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. <laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs> okay, um, let's keep going. Um, let's keep going. You get to attack back. Yeah. With him if you want. Let's do it. Yeah. So he gets three attacks. Yeah. Oh, don't forget he's got an artifact. He has an artifact, he does. So what did it do? Did it just make it give him an extra attack? Um, plus one to hit and wound rolls. Okay, perfect, great. Yeah. So that... Just remember that, it just moves the dice up. Yeah, so... How many attacks do you get free? Yeah, so if I get... Da -da 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 -da. So I get, yeah, I get three attacks, or three to hit and three to wound. So that just means that they're going to be... Any two I roll would be a three, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that, it just pops it up. On the same page. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. So that's a that three. That was a three. That was a two. So three hits. Did he just need freeze to hit? Did he? Yeah, three to hit and three to wound. Okay. No. Okay, that luckily didn't. One hit. He, he, he luckily didn't pronounce the T on that word. <laughs> so what's the rend? Um, two rend minus two rend on him. So that just automatically goes through then, because they have a six up. Uh -uh, yeah, and how many damage up. a piece? Sorry. Uh, just one damage. Really? Just one damage. Okay. Does he have no other special abilities or? No, no, that was him. Okay, so we will put that there. I guess I get to attack with these guys now. Mhm. Mm um, do you mind recording? No, no. There we go. Oh, this. We we'll do the useless squig, prodigy. guy. So once again, I need fives, fives to wound. Okay, wow. Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, two, four, six, eight, okay, eight attacks. I've had coffee, but my brain is slow today. So fours to hit, threes to wound. I think that's just a permanent thing. <laughs> uh. Woof. What is wrong? I think you could win this game. Yeah, I would need to. You'd hope so, wouldn't you? Um, freeze to wound. Woof. What's that called? Dead, S dead eyes? Snake eyes. Snake eyes. Dead eyes, really. Well, it's got, yeah, snake eyes. So that's all the attacks now, isn't it? No, it's not. I still can attack with these ones. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Sorry, I wasn't trying to deny you. You're all right. And um, does it? This unit has a dread warden, doesn't it? Yeah. So does he get okay, an extra so he attack? Okay, so he gets an extra attack. You have your Actually, Sarah, deck. what's the inch? What's the range of the dice from the back? One inch. They're not in. Okay. We're gonna do this for once. So are we gonna do this? We're gonna do this. Uh, from. Are we gonna bloody do this? Are they really in? Oh my god. They're within half an inch. 
do you know what? We'll keep going. I'm not actually that bad. I could just try and be like, because you can't help it because of the movement trays. You could maybe... Uh, I probably could pile them all in. Well, no, maybe two, but I'm not first. If they weren't on the movement chair, that means you could like... Yeah, in. we're not competitive here. In, like within half an inch, you can then pile in. I'm gonna zoom into your face because I'm angry. Oh fuck! Oh shit! I swore twice. <laughs> I swore twice. You I'm, tell me off. I'm gonna have to cut that out. <laughs> um. Go so for I get it. Two attacks, so I'm gonna have to roll so many dice. Well, just two, break four, it up. Six, eight, ten. You get twenty. Twenty. Twenty-one. Oh, yeah. You get twenty-one ten. attacks. Six. So just do like seven. ten at a time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Ten. What do you need to hit? Four? Four to hit and four to bring. Okay. Ah. Oh my god, the dice has made a return. Do you want to re-roll that? That was a three, I didn't. Yeah. Oh, it was a three actually, yeah, actually no, don't yeah. worry. Oh perfect. See? <laughs> Remove your um, failed saves. Four to hit. One, two, three, four to hit. And then what we do, two. me being man, so I, will, I will move them aside. And then I get another two, four. There we go, three six, so far. Eight, two, four, six, eight, ten, and eleven. Mm. Please don't kill the giant. <laughs> okay, ready to play. Oh my god, Eight, really? Two. Okay, nice. So, do you need fours again now? That's those. And then four is to be. Scurpish fervor. Potato. There we go. Wounded. Two. One, two, three, four, five. Um, is there any five, rend? Yes, no rend. Do you mind if I touch your dice? Oh, oh, oh. Can you not touch my dice, please? It's all right, we live in the same household. So I need, was it fives? Yeah, I need fives. Um, I can't see because of the reflection of the light. Oh, so I only took two wounds. Yeah, two wounds. So that is... Nine. He's on seven, eight, nine, yeah, perfect. Um, We'll do four. Six, oh no, we'll do three. Three, my bad, math, math. What is math? Do, do like four if you want. No, there we go, oh my God. So that's everything now, isn't it? That's everything attacked, they can attack. Um, all right, battle shock test. I need to roll under three. Um, sorry about that. This is when I roll really good. <laughs> that doesn't count. Hit the floor. <laughs> that was a five. And it doesn't count, hit the floor, went off the table. Well, what's a three? So, does one run away? Three and then that's four, yeah. Bravery is three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's your roll. Oh, because I lost one. Yeah. So that'd be a four. Okay, so... Yeah. So does that unit run away? Not that unit, is it a model? So, one flees, but then she has an ability, if you're within 12, an extra model flees. So two will flee, but then the squigs have an ability for when they flee, on a four plus they do a mortal wound. So before these two in the back flee, I'm going to actually, no, it makes sense to make him and that one flee, because he's rubbish with rolling, if you hear me out. Okay. Because he's just fives. Right, okay. And the squig heard him, what's he do? You can rerun, actually no, I'll keep him, I'll keep him. Right. Let's just roll. I need fours. Okay, so do you want to see if you can do a one-up save? Because what's your... The save for those ones? Yeah. Um, the save for those is four. Oh no, it's just one mortal wound. Yeah, it's one mortal wound, so yeah. I don't even get to save it. Okay, so... What's wrong? Why is that two there, by the way? Did one suffer a wound? Was that just from... That might just be rogue. That's a rogue one. That's okay. rogue. Okay, no worries. That's rogue now I think about it. So we'll put one wound, because they have two wounds each, mm -hmm. and these two at the back flee. No, they have one wound. My day three, they have one wound. No, the Graveway Stalkers, they have two wounds. Unless I've wrote it wrong. Yeah, you have, because remember with the Stormcast, I couldn't kill them. 
because they had two wounds. Oh, right. Okay. And it was really frustrating. Oh, okay. Right, I remember that's PTSD. Okay, we'll go right. with that then. So it's the end of the phase, so we now have to roll to see who gets to go next. And then I have to decide if the bad moon moves. So let's go, you. baby. So, okay. perfect. I'm going to go first because I really need this personally. I really need him to do something. But before that, we need to see if the bad moon moves to the center because then he'll start to give off buffs. Okay. So we need to get over one and it will move to like this center bit because the bad moon, it starts in the corner, mm -hmm. it goes there, then the next phase it goes there. It, like, it, it takes four turns essentially to go across the table. Cool. No, it stays there, so it can't even move. I really wanted that to move. So today is the day where you see a 27 year old just stricken with grief and depression. This is why. You're gonna see him cry. You won't see me cry. You just, I can't even roll. Subscribe to his Patreon to see bonus content of Alec crying. Okay, yeah, all right. I wanted to start an OnlyFans, but call it Only Crisp, and it's me in a bathtub eating crisp. Only Crisp. Would you, would you watch that? I'd be like dressed in the bathtub. Bathtub full of crisp. Any crisp? No? Okay, move on face. Okay, so we did a bunch of stuff, but the recording didn't work, so I'm just gonna explain what we did. So I put Inspiring Presence on this unit. I did Arcane Bolt into this unit. I rolled a 10, so that means I could do D3 damage, but then only did one damage. Now from the previous game, the thing we didn't know, you get six up death saves. So they are within 12 of their general, which gives them their six up death save. So Sarah's now going to see if she can roll. I have to get six, don't I? You need a six, yeah. Six up. No. So Ow. that means that goes. Yeah, he goes because he's the dead. Oh, good, good. That, that's nice. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, it'd be the movement. Then movement. It'd be the movement now. So if I recall, everything moves five. Five and then he moves it. Yeah, but he's still in he's combat. He's in combat, yeah. yeah but I isn't ever Well, pretty much. Yeah. Two, the bar to yours. Yeah, but which is perfect. Combat. So I'm going to run him. Okay. So he's going to move five plus the run. So. Wait a minute. Didn't we record the movement phase up there last time on the other camera? Yeah, but I don't think you'll see much on it. Yeah. This is just going to We'll explain. roll with this. We'll yeah, roll with we'll this roll one. With this. this shakes it up. I don't know why I did a shake. It probably wasn't nice to see. So he moves 10, that's nice. I kind of wanted him to make him run away from then. You're in. The sound effects weren't needed, Alex. Uh, well, you got them. All right. So I'm gonna move him. Oi, you, you slag. I'll put him there. Oof. I know, oof. And now it will be combat. Combat, yeah, because yeah. we can't shoot him, then sure. No, so we'll be right back. I'm just going to decide what we're going to do and then we'll go into the combat. A thing what has been forgotten, death has this ability where they don't take rend. So yeah, we may have accidentally let that slip by. So this unit may have been affected by that. Lady Orlanda may have been affected by that. Especially I remember, because I remember I was like, oh, it's seven plus on one of them. Mm -hmm. So she's probably had something go on. But do you know what? We're just going to keep rolling with it. Like, mistakes happen, but now we know. It could be a big game changer because you could argue how many wounds she on. Five. And she has seven, seven. wounds. Okay. Um... Oh, I still got a charge for him first. Let's mm -hmm. see if he gets in. Yeah, he gets in. Um, she's on five. Yeah. We'll put it down to four. Sure. Yeah. As a kind of reconcile for like messing up the one of the things I can't get the dice. <laughs> so there we go. We'll put it down to four. It's only fair that we give us some chance. But then with that attitude, then I would be like, oh, we may have messed up something with him. And the, essentially the game from the entire first battle round is void. But I'm going to reshoot this because I don't have the time. I, like, I'm taking time out of my actual holiday off work to do this for you guys. So hopefully you enjoy. 
Also, Sarah's taking time off her day off to do this, so big up Sarah. So she's on four wounds now. Are you happy with that, or would mm -hmm. you rather she has three wounds? No, 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 that's fine. Okay. So combat now. I'm, of course, going to attack with him into her because I need her dead. Because with, once she's gone, there's a small chance, but it's probably still not a very good chance. So we're going to do the giant. He's gone down to nine wounds now. So we're going to do his headbutt first. So his headbutt is D3. He gets one attack though, so I've got to roll first. So I need a four plus and a three plus. Okay, perfect. Three plus. Cool. And then it's D3. So it does have rend free, but it doesn't count. So I think Sarah just has to do a, a save. Yeah, you just got to do a save and then I do the damage. So do you want to roll? Okay. Um, I'll write yes. What's her save? Four plus. Okay. So four up save on her. Six. Yes. So she's We're fine. Because right. originally I would have been like, oh, that's rend free. So that's mm -hmm. seven. So that would have gone through. But then, yeah, cause it doesn't matter. I know. Because I'm silly, because I'm remembering everything. So now we've got Massive Club, that's D6. So I've got to roll, see how many attacks he gets. Three, that's half. And then I need freeze to hit, freeze to wound. Ren 1 doesn't matter, so I can only do three damage here. If she somehow lives... But should still die with three, three damage? No. If all three of them oh, hit? Oh yeah, definitely, but they may not, because it's me rolling. So freeze to wound. Ooh. Okay, and then, no, freeze to hit, now it's freeze mm -hmm. to wound. Uh... Oh, perfect. Ooh. And now you've got three four-ups. Oh, I see those. Yeah. Ooh, so, so one. one goes so three. So she's on five now. And now I've got Mighty Kick. So I need one attack, freeze to hit, freeze to wound. No, it doesn't do nothing. So she's still alive. So essentially we've kind of skipped because she was on five, so she'd be on six, mm -hmm. but we've kind of been and yanged it out. So it's now your turn to attack. Woo! Do you want me to take that off? Do you remember any of your yeah. attack stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are you attacking with now? Um... I'm gonna really just want rid of him. Okay. So I think I'll use all of my chain rasp attacks. Okay, you're, you're going to do your chain rasps. Okay. Is that, is that right? Yeah, 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 go for it. I, I said I'm not going to tell you how to play the game. Yet. Damn. Yeah, roll. I'm surprised you didn't want to use the lady first. Faith. You have faith. I know it'll just annoy you more if I tell you're girl. Yeah, oh, fair enough. So we're playing like psychological warfare. So what do I need? Force ahead, force around. How many attacks was that? So three hits. And then you gotta do, is it another 10 now? Three, six, four. Another 11. Oh, sorry. No, no, you're all right. Oh wow, that many. They all hit. No, that's okay. And so, oh, is it to wound now? Oh, wound. okay. So is it four to wound? Twice to wound. Okay, I only thought that was all wound hits then. That's still a lot. You have a thing for rolling sixes and fives. So do you want to take the Two, camera? Four, six, seven. I thought it was four to wound. Yeah, but... One oh. was a three. No, it moved. Okay, I'll give you that one. That was a free. We'll see in the playback footage. Okay, so I need five up save. Have they got any rend? Um, there's no rend on those. Okay, so I need to save this. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So one, two, three, four, five. He has 12 wounds. He has, how many there? Nine. Nine. He's dead. So before he dies, though, jokes on you. Mm -hmm. um, I'm glad I got to attack with him, though. 
actually makes sense that you didn't wait for the lady on him because she still has to fight the guy behind her. Yeah. But then hopefully yeah. he kills her before she can do anything. Mm -hmm. I doubt it. So here we go. It's called Timber. I know, ironic. Ah, oh, so we both got to roll off. Okay. After you. It's a four. It's a four. Let's re roll. Once again, you swap. Oh, oh my oh. god! Did you get that on camera? Yeah. Okay. So last time you did this, you got six or five, yeah. Perfect. So you get to decide now um, within two. Each unit within two of this point suffers D3 wounds. But the problem is, he's not even in range of that. You could say Ooh, okay. if he wanted, he just does that so he doesn't do any damage to your guys. Yeah. So he's just going to fall on his back, essentially. Uh-huh. Okay. Because... There's no one around him to damage. You could only damage yourself. But by yeah, all right. So if you had one, you would obviously pack it to wide Yeah, to I, w I would have been like, oh, he's Yeah, do... just go like there yeah, and take all that much. Yes. Um, yeah, if he just falls that way. Yeah, yeah. so he goes, oh. Look at him. He did okay. He did okay. He did have a bit of cheating help because of the me forgetting about the mortal wound rain thing then again that's your job to remember i can't remember mm -hmm. everything like you yeah, can i head small head small but you're still playing nightborn from the last game i was doing stormcast i'm doing gits because people want versus um ver ver i can't say the word variety mm -hmm. all right great tip people if you don't want to keep buying all the replacement books for gw just buy them in pdf form so then you don't have to carry like an entire thing of books with you Oh wow, okay, so this may not be that good. So he's now going to attack her, of course. Mm -hmm. um, subtract one from hit rolls for attacks that target this unit. Okay, that could be handy later. So he gets three attacks. Perfect. Now I need freeze to wound. Perfect. Um, it's rend one. But it doesn't affect you. It doesn't matter. So you need three four ups. Oh, one. So one goes through. One goes through. And it's D3 damage. Go for it. She take one wound. She takes one wound. <laughs> yeah, so if I never gave you back that wound. She lives. She would have died. She lives. So there you go, game. Like, she's now going to essentially win the game for Sarah. So congrats. Um, me being nice, undoing that mistake has completely changed the game. So it's your turn now to attack. I will take the camera. Thank you. Um, tip, and... there's no point attacking with her because no one yeah. can attack her. So you probably want to attack over here now. Mm -hmm. um, we'll go with him just because he's most outnumbered. Yeah, yeah, Double sure. Mind. Yeah, yeah So... Why know? are they picking on him? Three attacks. Three to hit, three to wound. Okay. And he gets to add one to his hit rolls. As yes, well. with his artifact, yeah? Yeah. Roll. That's a three now, and that one's a three. Yeah. <laughs> oh my Those god, what's three as well. <laughs> Cheeky um, so round is two and then the damage is one. Um, they are six up. So that's just three straight damage. So that's that dead. And that's that dead. Thanks, Sarah. Do you want to take that? It's three. So I'm going to No, because one had a wound. Oh, oh, right. They're two. two there are two. I get yeah, it. So he loses one and he loses two. Okay, cool. Why do the coloured ones have to be the painted ones? <laughs> Alright, so my turn. Um, well, he can't attack. It makes sense to try and attack with these now before they run away. Um, don't know why that's there. So the squigs, they get two attacks. Freeze to hit, freeze to wound, one damage apiece. Was that right? Freeze to hit, freeze to wound? No, yeah. is it fours? I believe it's four. 
I'll just check here because I have it actually right here. It's fours. Fours, threes, okay. Okay, let's skip that. Ooh. Could just quit the game now and it means less editing for me. You're being salty. I'm not being salty. I'm just, I'm mainly more annoyed the fact that I we forgot the whole ignores modifier thing for ghosts because it makes me look bad. And then I need fives to hit. Okay. Ooh. Um, it's just one damage, but you've got to do a uh, four up. Mm, so for my Lord Executioner, or is it for these guys? For those guys. That doesn't count. You drop, you drop <laughs> that, you drop that. <laughs> if it wasn't a good one, I would have claimed that one. Thanks. Yeah, see, you would have. If you were like, oh, I dropped that, that was a one. But the minute that landed on the four, I was like, six. No, it's, it's fine, it stands. There we go, perfect. Oh, see, see the point. Ah! See the point. So is that one of them dead or? No, one, oh yeah, no one, one gets moved. around. Yeah. So now you get to attack with. Well, you get to so attack. So he's attacked. Well, those guys because they can still attack and she can yeah. still attack. And then your they... squigs haven't attacked anyone, have they? They've attacked, but then that still needs to attack. But he's attacked, so don't worry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so I'll take fine. that over. Boo, 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 boo. Should we, should we just attack with the for some excitement? Go for it. Like, excitement for yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to quickly scroll up to the loom boss. Yeah, I'm ready. So let's do your staff attacks first. Okay. Three hits, three to wound. Okay, it's and minus one. He has an ability, it's minus one. Okay, so it's fours to hit, yes. fours to wound. That's not me making it up, by okay, the way. Okay, no, no, that's fine. Before anyone loses it, look. It's there. It's the, it's that it's right there. <laughs> okay, so two hits. Because what does she need to hit? Three's to hit and three's Perfect. to wound. Perfect. Uh, ten to one plus nine. Yeah. The minus. Ooh, one hit then. Okay. Um, um, is that okay. with her staff? That was the staff and then How I much? still have the claws. The staff do a D3 damage with two rounds. So I need to do five up anyway. Mm -hmm. No. So do you want to roll the... Three wounds. Yep, yeah, great. So he's now on four. Oh, he's quite a bit of No, he only has Hello, five. Guy. He only has five, but then his artifact, his command ability, makes him tough and leathery. So it gave him two extra wounds. Oh, okay. So that's why I gave him that. Leathery. <laughs> leathery boy. And then let's go with our claws. So that's a six. Four set and four to wound with those. Okay. Is that a five if it has if he's altered it, is it? Yeah, because he does minus one. Okay. Oh, and none of them go through. Really? Yeah. Perfect. So that it's cause that's just good. Mm-hmm. Because the ability is dead tricky. So nice. I guess it makes sense to attack with these guys. Mm -hmm. So I'll give you the camera. Hopefully they do something. <laughs> so we do the squigs again. Um, fourth the hit, freeze the wound. It takes us to like the second battle round so I start remembering abilities. Wait, there are two, four, six. Okay, so fourth the hit. Oh no. Oh no. Freeze the wound. No, freeze the hit. Yeah, freeze mm -hmm. the wound, my bad. Yeah. What? And then you've got to roll. Uh, is there any rend? No, you don't. Oh, it doesn't I don't get rend. You just get. A, is it a so four up? So executioner, four up. It's four up for the executioner. Yeah, oh. he takes a wound. Let's put that beside him then. Yeah, and then the awful stabby boy. Um, fives, fives. Yeah. Okay, so that's a five. Will we get another five? No. No. I like when you know when you see dice slow mm -hmm. through the human eye. So I just saw a five and automatically. It was like five and one. Ugh. And I'm just like, oh bugger. <laughs> um, is that all attacks done now? Uh, I think so. Or yeah, do I guess everyone's attack? been attacked. Did they? No, they have. Did they attack? Oh, did they? No, they haven't. No, they, they haven't because you haven't lost them. anymore and you haven't put yeah. a. Okay, thank you. Perfect. Um, Gosh. Shockers. Two attacks each, so six. Okay. Man, making battle report content is hard and time consuming. 
course it has, no, of course it has recording. If only there was a sustainable way to support content creators, you know? Imagine. I know. Like, check the links in the comments below. Oh, nasty. Force to hit. Do I get to do any plus ones? Do I get to re-roll any plus ones? No, it's only on him. Is it? Okay. Are you sure? I'm sure I'll be told. Do you want me to check? Do you want I don't think it is. I you don't, don't okay, it, yeah. we're, we're just playing stupid. If, it, if it's wrong, it's Call rude to me. point. Blame her. Three to wounds. Okay. Two hits. Is there any rend? No rend, one damage just. So I need. Is it six up? For those, yeah. Is it six up for the squigs? Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Bye, bye. So that means one is dead. I'm just going to kill. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's for charge. Yeah, he doesn't matter now. See you later, alligator. Okay. So, battle shock. Um, they need to take battle shock. Mm -hmm. They lost, what was it, one unit that turn? Mm -hmm. So I need to roll under three. But then, with her ability, if one flees... Yeah, then, and then I can add another one to it, so you'll lose another one. Yeah. All right, so I need to get under three, don't I? Yeah, but you've already lost Because do you keep adding? Does it count for the ones that you've already lost? See, I, that's or one bit I've never known. Check the book now, and we'll be right back. We checked the rule book. Um, it's only for each turn. So the last battle report with my Stormcast, I kept adding it up. So no wonder I was really struggling. I still won, but that's not the point. I'm going to lose today, probably. <laughs> so I need to roll under three. Well, yeah, under three. Wait a minute. No, I don't. Because I put Inspiring Presence. They don't take Battle Shock. Oh, okay, good. So, yeah. Never mind. What about your other unit? Because they have lost some boys. They lost two, yes. So, so we'll go I, there. I need to roll. But I'm probably not within 12 inches of those guys, so. No. But I still need to roll low. Yeah, you'll still need to. Two, three, four. Because I've lost two, so. Does that mean one flees? Yeah. One flees, yeah? One flees, yeah. Okay, so then that... she would make another one go. So one flees. I'm going to actually make him flee. Or do I make one flee and then it's a mortal wound? <sighs> no, I'm just going to make him flee because they're just locked in combat now. Okay, yeah. And they've just got no chance. And that is my combat. Mm -hmm. That's my round. That's my round two. It's now yeah. your round two. So we will be right back with command abilities and spells and whatnot. So in a bit. So it's Sarah's turn two. And as you can see, this game is already kind of under wraps for, well, Sarah. And she still has a lot of units. So decimated. Yeah, it's literally decimated. Um, Desolation, a song by this band. Anyway, what are you doing? Eight no rest for the wicked. Oh, okay. I'm going to use my command ability. Yeah. And bring back this boil. What's that command ability? I can bring back a slain unit. And they'll say a model to a unit. Really? Uh, you can turn one slain model to each friendly summon model knight of one unit that is within 12 inches of a friendly model. So that's Yeah, it, fair yeah. enough. I'll uh, check it if you want me to. No, that's all right. Is that it? And then we're going to do a good old arcane bolt. Does she have... One, two... But how many... That's a spell. I can do two spells. Mm -hmm. Okay, go for it. Um, I'll do it on this one just because I don't like the look of him. Oh, what? He's lovely. <laughs> Wait, can you do that because he's in combat? Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. Is it a unit? No, it's does it target it heroes units? or units? Here we go again, guys. Here we go. If only we knew what the hell we were doing. Pick an enemy unit with an 18 yeah. of the caster that is visible to he's him. A, he's a hero, so oh, doesn't I can't count. Them. No, so he's a hero. Who's visible to me then? And who's within 18 inches? Well, I'd say that unit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, then. Moving on to that one. So, two dice. Let's get above a 5 and let's get above a 10. Okay. And let's wipe the mic. I'm ringing up Peter. We got Six. a 5. Got a six. Oh, I see it. Yeah, I got yeah. confused. Um, 
Yeah. It's just one damage. Yeah, it's one mortal wound then to someone. Okay. So, is that it? Is it the movement phase? That's it for my command, yeah. I'm to move. Okay, be right back. No. Nope. <laughs> Let me heal her. No. Nope. Well, Alex. So it's the movement phase. Okay. If we're playing Hotty Sweat Dog. <laughs> Hotty Sweat Dog. Hotty Sweat Dog. So Sarah has an ability each command phase where she can do D6 damage to an enemy hero or heal D6. Sarah, in her arrogance, <laughs> forgot this and she only has a wound left. So I've probably lost this game, but my sole mission now is to kill her. And I will kill her. <laughs> so what are you moving? Let's see about that. Oh. Um, I'm gonna get these guys in the battle. In the battle. In the battle. So you're gonna run with them? We'll just move, then run. We'll move, then charge. Okay. So they move five, don't they? Um, six. Okay, go for it. Move six. Here's a cat. Hey Hocus, say hello to the internet. Hello, hello. There we go, she, she's just being a cat. Oh yeah, the game. Okay, so you moved from there to there. Yeah, and then we're gonna charge into those guys. Okay, are you not moving anything else? Like you've got an entire unit there who's not in combat. Let me get to it. Or do I have to move everyone and yeah, then charge? Yeah, you okay. move then charge. All right, so they've moved and then we had some technical stuff because Sarah did something wrong, but it's okay. Yes. You did a stupid. So we'll go, we're going to come around in here. Yeah. That's definitely six inches. Yeah, yeah, it? definitely. So essentially so Sarah just here. moved all her models completely in and I was like, you have to charge, mate. And she was like, oh, oh, my lordy. And then they come around here? Yeah, just okay. do that. And then when it comes to the charge, and then we're, charge in. we're and piled. Then we'll pile in. That's how it works, isn't it? Yeah, essentially that's how it works. But you can't just move and be in close combat with a model. Because it sounds silly, you can't really fail this charge. Yeah, yeah. But it still, it just means the game. Yeah. Um, do you want to charge those guys now, Sarah? The ones over there. I'm going to do a shooting phase, actually. It's the shooting phase. And unlike the last shooting phase, because Sarah forgot, because I can't remember everything, Lady Olinda has a shooting ability. Do you want to shoot? I want to shoot. I'm going to shoot these ones. They're within 10 inches of her. Yeah. And I get to roll 2d6, and then that equals... It's got to be higher than their bravery character. If the role for the unit is higher than its bravery characteristic, it falls D3 mortal wounds. Your bravery is three on those, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> sure is hoping. Yeah. So D3 mortal wounds? D3 mortal wounds. Do you want to roll? And then I roll another one, and then that's D3, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Just D3. It's a six or a three. So. Three mortal wounds. Um. Damage, yeah, that's them dead. You kill, you kill animals, and you're vegan. Like you are, like oh my god, <laughs> this is controversial. I'm ringing up Peter. Do you ever remember the story of Peter when they tried to complain about Games Workshop using wolf fur? Oh yeah, or miniatures. It was plastic. Yeah, even I'm like cringe, <laughs> cringe. Um, um, you didn't gonna um, declare charges? I'm, yeah, I'm gonna charge now. Okay. Um, Makes sense we're going to do that first with those guys. Yeah. I feel like he's like missing out on everything here. No, that's the plan. I want him to miss out on everything. I can't reach him anyway, no. so we'll try to eradicate those ones. Well, then again, these guys don't have anything to do, so can I charge them then? Or yeah, you could, you could charge them. charge them to there? Yeah, you could. They're not in combat anymore. So, we'll go with these ones first. Okay. Uh, and we have seven. Yeah, let's see if they're in. I think they're in. They're in. Just pile them around these, like so. Just put them there. I meant like, oh my god, oh my god. I'm trying to hold the camera and help. So do something like that. Yeah, that like that. That's like cool. Like that. That's cool. I don't mind the movement trays, but also they're annoying. Yeah. But it's mainly just because there's so many. Mm -hmm. Like, imagine dealing with a squad of 20. Yeah. Like, you wouldn't want to single handedly move each one. Yeah, um, go and charge these guys. Yep. That's a five. They're definitely in. He's in. So, is that when you rest on mine? Yeah. 
Does that all work? Um, you can only get two of them in if we're going to be sweaty. Well, actually, wait there. We are being sweaty off those nerds. Right there. Do that. Can probably fit. Why, why do I have to do everything? Um, that, and then I've helped you. You can get three in. Thank you. And then he's just kind of there. Bring up the rear. And then that's all your chart. Oh, you want to go charge those ones? Go for it. And pile all in. Pile drive. I hope I make it. It's yeah. Five, so they're all in as well. So so yeah, we just, we did that. It's the combat phase. This could be the end. I could be tabled on turn two. Which is, do you know what? It it's means less, it's less editing for me. It's an improvement. We were going to do an objective based game today, but we literally came downstairs, set up the table. And then I was like, oh, we, we should have done a different game, but it doesn't matter. We'll do a different game next time. But we're just kind of learning the armies and this is just some chill background stuff for you. So who are you attacking with first, Sarah? Mm. I think we'll do the Yolinder first. Oh, course. Your... course. Because I would have done it with the Chain Rasp, but he does something stupid. And what? even if I die, my Chain Rasp will avenge me. Yeah, I still subtract one from all the hit yeah, rolls she yeah, does. Yeah, so you know, I'm more likely to make a hit with her, okay. then to not. He's got, um, he's taken four wounds, five, yeah, he's, he's got gone. three wounds left. He needs to make this. <laughs> he needs some, so what are you doing first? The staff? Uh, so staff, um, three attacks, three to hit, three to wounds, but then you add that to four. No, it's only subtract one from hit rolls. Subtract one from hit roll, right, okay. Yeah, it's not all of them. I think you may have done that in one of I them. Have yeah, oh well, um, Sarah's winning me out about it so to hit oh yeah so it'd be this anyway so that's Mine actually a four that's... and that's actually a five and what did you need to hit but i needed threes to hit anyway so okay still so two they apply. and then what is it to wound four what is it to wound? it is three to wound okay okay so those so that's through. a three to hit and that's three anyway and what are they and then i do two round and d3 damage okay So that's one wound. That's I can't save wound. that. You can't save it, yeah. So and what's the other one? Do I do two? Well, how many hits went through? Two? You, you rolled two dice, oh. each piece is D3. So he has two wounds left. That is... That's a three. Yeah, so... Um... <sighs> Should I tell what was my wrong doing from the beginning one it's karma because we ignored all the abilities <laughs> like this game compared to the last game i felt like we were way more practiced and prepared because it's like oh it's the first game we have to really remember everything this one we're cocky we've been laxed and we've forgotten a bunch of things <laughs> and i've paid the price i think what should i tell you what i went wrong with the low model count for 500 points mm -hmm. the fact that i split up like I had a bit there, a bit there. I should have like solely focused them all together. Mm -hmm. But you live and learn. At least they can't do anything now. Hello. So it's my turn to attack. So we're going to use his moon sickle. He gets three attacks, and they're forced to hit, forced to wound. Doesn't matter about rend one damage. That doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's two hit. Cat's just licking herself. Okay, and then it's just one damage a piece. So do you want to roll? Okay. Um, I'm gathering it's four up. It is four up for those, and they're two it. wounds each. So one, Ooh, one, one takes a wound. Perfect. And now the little spore squig bites two attacks. How there's a little squig more confident than one of the herders. Okay, so I need fours to hit. No, okay, so that's that. You bungled that. Um, it's now your turn to attack. Who are you attacking with? Oh, I'll take the camera off you, bud. Thank you. The end. What? I have to roll so many. Why don't you try the Lord Executioner okay. first? Let's try this. Uh, yeah. So three attacks. Three to hit, three to wound. 
and you do nothing stupid to my attacks sure you don't no want no they're just squeaks. but i get to add one to hip and wound roll the last stand of the painted miniatures i don't think anyone even got to get a nice look at the squeaks there you go there they are <laughs> before they die there we go <laughs> Why is so that a three? Because I get to add one to hit. Oh yes, his, his um, axe, yeah. Yeah, so two attacks, two rend, one damage. So it's just automatic one damage. Um, is it two attacks? Two attacks, so, so that's yeah. one dead. So I get to attack back with the... <laughs> Come on, my Look thumb. how Come on, my Do you want to take that over, please? Thank you. So it's forced to hit, forced Sorry, to Sorry, I just covered the camera. Sorry? Sorry, I just covered the camera. Is it back now? Is it still recording? Yeah, 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 That's yeah. Right then. Forced to hit. Okay. Oh, the cat's staying hydrated. That's probably more interesting content than me rolling badly. Okay, that's two wounds. So I guess you have to, I didn't even say who I'm putting them into. Yeah, who are you attacking? I'll put them into him. Okay, he only has, he has one wound. So is he four up? He is a four up. Go for it. He has five wounds and he's up. that's taken one. Yeah. yeah. One goes in. So he's on two. One goes in. And now you get to attack with the chain rasps. Yay. That's a lot of things. Two. Four. Six. Eight. Well, they haven't done anything in this game yet. So haven't they? Okay. No, they've been like hanging out over here. Yeah. And everyone over at the square has been doing the heavy lifting. Yeah. Well, so, you mean she's been doing the heavy lifting? Yeah. So let's give them. Let's give them a bit of action. Okay. Cool. Um, pause to hit. Pause to wound. Zero ones. Oh, I can re-roll ones if my board is more than ten. Yeah. There's ten of them. There's a one. You want to re-roll that one? Nice. Can re -roll? No, you can't re-roll, re-roll one. <laughs> Was it forced Force to hit? hit? And then you got to redo the other lot, haven't you? Oh God, yeah, I know I have more. So those are all going in. Yeah. That's wow, good. I wonder if they're going to make it. Six, seven. <laughs> With their yeah, six nine, up. 10, 11, uh, four, six, eight, 11. Such a power gamer. I'm so sorry, Alex. I'm so sorry. The heart in the dice. This is what happens when I change the dice. See, I charged my dice earlier. Oh, uh, you use some black magic, I'm gathering. I'll never say it. You get three roll ones. Oh, there's three ones. Three, so that doesn't hurt anyway. Oh, there goes the firework. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> oh, my. And then I have to re-roll all these to see if they go through. Yeah, so force to hit. And then can I, do you mind if I just roll? Just pile me up. So I need sixes. That doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> it's a five. These are all sixes. Yeah, it wasn't half bad. Um, oh, I am. Yeah. So that's that unit gone. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> For lol, should we see who gets the next? Have they attacked? No, they haven't. <laughs> Let's see if he dies. <laughs> um, so they get two attacks each. Yeah. Two. Four is to hit and three is to wound. No worries. Two, four, six, eight. Lady Orlando's really good. Mm -hmm. Even when she's playing on a handicap with less wounds. Let's, let's just acknowledge the round for a bit of crack. So it was forced to hit. But I can, can't really roll series on him. No. Nope. So only three hits? Three hits. And need a plus three wound. Is it three to wound? Yeah, four to hit, three to wound. Nice. To win. All right, so it is 
Is it four up? No, so I get six up saved, then I get an extra save. So six up. No, and now I need four up because with his little mushroom, mm -hmm. on a four up, the wound or mortal wound is neglected. So that's a bit more doable. That's awesome. Don't count, I use dual dice. No, that, that goes through. I'm just curious now. Ready? This to be two sixes. <laughs> <laughs> that's an evil laugh. No, he takes some um, two wounds. He's now only on two. Should we see who gets the next battle turn? Yeah. If it's you, I'm probably going to forfeit, mate. It, like. <laughs> oh, four. <laughs> so what do you want to do? We're going to see if the bad moon moves. Are you needing your battle shark? No. Yeah. No, okay. he's a hero. Does the bad Sorry, moon move? The bad moon moves. So now the bad moon is there. Exciting. Does that affect me? Yes, it could do. I can literally just do D3 to them and that's it. Um, do you want to forfeit? I think so, mate. <laughs> Good game. <laughs> we didn't even see who got the next turn. Oh wait, it's mine. Oh, yeah, it was yeah, your go. But you couldn't do anything. Like the ban, I may have done some wounds to them. Mm -hmm. All he could have done is maybe run away. He'd have to try and survive another turn. <laughs> but he's got all these ghosts after him. Yeah. You didn't even need to heal yourself. No, I didn't. You didn't need to heal yourself. My plan was... But I whinged until I did. What do you mean? I whinged until I could. No, you didn't. Oh, yeah, no, I, I didn't. Mean, yeah, no. The mm -hmm. ability. Oh, yeah. So if my plan was, we'll do a little breakdown. My plan was, if the loom was survived because she was only on one wound, mm -hmm. I would have got him to kill her, stab her in the back. Yeah. But then, realistically, you would have healed her. Mm -hmm. and I should have healed her, but yeah, it didn't really matter. It didn't really matter. And then even going back to the first round when she was taking wounds. Mm -hmm. If I remember this... We'll have to men I'll have to like mention in the beginning of the game because mm -hmm. I don't want people to lose it halfway through the game. Like, oh my god! But if loads of other channels can get away with it, so can we. Two people and a cat. Okay. Okay, okay baby poo. Hello, miss. All right, but yeah. Um, so good game. So now what we'll do? We'll do a uh, breakdown. So in a bit. Hi. Well, that's that. I'm a bit close now. I don't even know if I'm on camera. Hello if I am. If I'm not, you get half my face. Probably a blessing. So yeah, um, that was a game. Loads of mistakes, but still table, basically. Mm -hmm. I think the difference between something like Gloom Spike Gits and Stormcast, Gits rely on numbers. Yeah. Like, you, I would you need... didn't have that many. No. Like, if the example of the Giants 160, that could have got me like another mm -hmm. 10 man um, hopper unit. But because right, I yeah. own the Giants, I just wanted to give him a go because mm -hmm. it's cool, you know, it's oh, a big yeah, model. Yeah. It's, he didn't really get to perform that well. No, he still did a bit of damage. It, yeah, but then if you think that we forgot the rend. Mm -hmm. I don't know how we forgot that because because we was learning about the bad new, bad moon and all these other abilities and then from the last games so we forgot the ghost alliance abilities. Mm -hmm. You're just taking on more rules. Yeah. Uh, and the fact that a game happens like maybe so the last one was done three weeks ago then this one's done today. It gives you an idea how we forget some stuff over time because we're busy working throughout all this Rona party stuff, you know, boogaloo. But no, it's still cool. It was nice to put, actually put a painted unit on the board. Mm -hmm. um, I painted, I said, the lady a few um, two weeks ago for Sarah, and then we made a list around her. She's essential. Like in the thousand point game, picture her, and then I actually have her husband, the king guy as well, the oh, king yeah, of grief. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just picture those two going up the board owning. Um, I'm sure like more competitive players, and I have answers for dealing with her. Um, it would have probably been a different game if we did an objective game. Yeah. But we just totally forgot. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, we'll roll with it. We'll do what we did last time. Mm -hmm. Next time we'll deliberately do like kind of objective based game because Age of Sigma is more about objective grabbing. Right. It's not just kill, kill, kill because it's still fun. Mm -hmm. But then that's a great example with the Gloom Spike because they can run everywhere in that. 
they can grab objectives. That's the whole point. But lessons have been learned. Um, what we'll do next time, we'll have a document of things we seem to forget all the time. But then the, the ghost won't even be in the next game, probably. Yeah. So then it'd be two unpainted armies. <laughs> and then people were like, so no, once again, thank you. Thanks for being a sweaty hot dog gamer, eater, person. It kind of redeems from losing the last game. Mm -hmm. Positive note though, we got to turn three compared to turn five last time. Yeah. And the whole quicker approach to the last game. So hopefully for me, it's less editing already from 55 clips this game, even though it got cut because I quit. It's 30 clips, so that's cool. Um, as usual, um, thank you for watching. Thank you, Sarah, for your patience and playing. Without Sarah, we can't do this. If you guys kind of liked what you see, please like, comment, sub, subscribe and share because the better these videos do, the more we kind of try to do over time. I just can't sadly fully do it full time because money, jobs and stuff. Um, if you want to help support the channel, what can they do, Sarah? Become a Patreon. Wow, well, you sold it. You're welcome. <laughs> but no, if you want to go that extra bit further, in the description below there's a Patreon. There's three tiers, £2, £5, £10. So they've got a bunch of benefits. Yeah, so till next time, thank you for watching. I'm going to go cry now after this abysmal play from myself. Oh. I don't know, Chief. I don't know. I've lost all my dignity. Mm -hmm. It's the fact that in like my Discord community and loads of other people, they always want me to lose. I know. So now I've lost. They're gonna they're gonna relish in it. They're like, oh, you lost. And I'm just like, that's horrible. And, uh, I'd like to dedicate this vintage mod to Stalin and Street Ape. <laughs> Big up smokes. Anyway, see you later, guys. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.